Does anyone else kind of panic when somebody asks you what your favorite quote is? Maybe it's just me, but I always feel like your favorite quote is some all-encompassing thing that represents everything you believe in and your outlook on life, as well as everything you are and everything you want to become. And that's a lot of pressure for one measly line that you didn't even say. See, I have a lot of favorite quotes for different situations. Different quotes just make me feel different things. I've gone through hundreds of composition notebooks in my life, and every single one of them features different quotes on the covers. And this particular one features this quote. You are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. From Christopher Robin from Winnie the Pooh. I also just like quotes that make me laugh. Some days even my lucky rocket ship underpants don't help. Calvin from Calvin and Hobbes. And sometimes I like quotes because they're said by some of my favorite people and pertain to certain aspects of my life. Art challenges technology, technology inspires the art. John Lasseter. It's kind of fun to do the impossible. Walt Disney. And sometimes I just like quotes because of the way they sound or what they make me think about. Imagining the future is a kind of nostalgia. John Green. Opportunity is not a lengthy visitor. Into the woods. We can either be nine people's favorite thing or a hundred people's ninth favorite thing. Title of show. I mean, my senior quote was from Harry Potter. Wit beyond measure is man's greatest treasure. And see, I mostly picked that quote because it's Ravenclaw's motto and it just sounded nice. It's nowhere near my favorite quote. When people ask me a favorite quote, I do go into a state of panic. Asking for your favorite quote is not like asking for your favorite color or your favorite pizza topping. No one analyzes your favorite pizza topping. It's just a thing you prefer. Your favorite quote has to be something intelligent yet insightful, and it's even better if it's a tad bit witty. Some people like their favorite quotes to be said by ancient philosophers or dead poets, and some people like them to be said by Dr. Seuss or Walt Disney. And let's go back to the very strange phenomenon that is having a favorite saying by someone else. From now on, I'm only quoting myself.